is uh, TQDM. Uh, it's a really, really it's tiny library for progress bars in your program. So let's imagine that you have a task that does something. So I just locked it by sleeping for, for one millisecond, but let's say that it does something. And then you run it a bunch of times. And so you run it. And then you wait, you don't really know what the progress is. So maybe it's not 1,000, maybe it's, maybe it's 10 million, maybe it's taking hours, and you really want to know what's happening. So if you've done this, you probably, well, not probably, but you possibly solved it by doing this. You took a module of the, uh, of the number and just printed every, 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 uh, every equation that you found suitable, uh, which is not really super convenient, it has to be done ad hoc. If you were a bit fancier, you did something like this, where it's always pretty right and would look kind of cool. Uh, but it still doesn't really solve the issue. It can be easily solved by TQDM, which I think doesn't have any further dependency, so it's very likely that you can use it in uh, your CLI projects or other projects. So you just so the the usage is that you just import TQDM from TQDM, and then you wrap any interval, and then it gives you a progress bar like this. So you can see that it gives you a uh, number of iterations per second. It gives you time elapsed and time remaining, which is estimated depending on uh, the current speed gives you number of iterations done, the total percentage. It can even be ASCII only, so it's got a bunch of keyword arguments that I'm not really showing you, but it can be ASCII only, so it, gets, it gives you hashes instead of these uh, black boxes. Um, you can even wrap iterators that don't have a, uh, a specified length. So let's say I have a generator that just, just launches my task uh, a given number of times, but uh, TQDM doesn't know that work does this 3,000 times. So instead of giving me a progress bar of you know, uh, percentage size, it just gives me the num number of iterations it's doing currently and how many iterations it has done and the time elapsed because it doesn't really know anything else about this process. So this is, for example, very useful for you, for example, querying a database and just getting the results row by row. And maybe the iterator itself doesn't have uh, length but you know what the total number of elements in it is, so you can specify it as a keyword argument. So, uh, so imagine that this is you know, a cursor on a database, and you know how many elements there are, so you can just su supply a total uh, there, and it gives you a progress bar like uh, before. And that's it.